Welcome to my channel and this week's video. I do hope that you are well. In this video, I am going to be doing a taste test to try and find the best posh milk chocolate. So previously I did a finding the best basic milk chocolate. So the posh ones, they're things like your Lindor, your Guillaume, your Tony's Chocoloni, the ones that cost a little bit more. They are all ones that you can get from supermarkets, so there won't be any Hotel Chocolat, which I'm gutted about because I love Hotel Chocolat, but I've got 11 bars as it is, and I think 11 bars is quite enough because I am going to be munching my way through this chocolate probably for the next month. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then you are missing out, so why not click that subscribe button? That way, in the nights when you just cannot get to sleep, you can pop on one of my videos and you'll have nodded off in no time. Right, let's get into the posh milk chocolate. So I've divided the chocolate up into a stack of branded and supermarket own brands. A few of these I haven't had before, so at the moment, I can't say which one I think is going to be my favourite, but that's probably a good thing. So I've got five branded bars and four unbranded bars. So I will start with the branded and alternate them and let you know at the end which one I think is best. I'm going to go in with Tony's Chocoloni first. This isn't one that I've had before. It's a really thick bar. It's one of these ones where the pieces are all higgledy-piggledy and these really annoy me. I like a row that I can just break off. I'll just get this corner if I can. So that is what it is looking like. I can tell you now it does smell very rich. Mmm. Mmm. We are off to a cracking start with this one. It's really creamy. It's not super sweet. I really, really like this. And even though it comes in weird shapes, I probably would get it again, but I think it was if not the most expensive, one of the most expensive bars. I am not giving prices in this video because I collected them over a couple of weeks and I did try to get them when they were on offer. So this is definitely one that I would get on offer. I don't think I'd get any of the other flavoured bars from the Tony's range, but that's because they're all a bit weird, in my opinion. At the moment, Tony's is definitely the one to beat. Can Sainsbury's taste the difference Ecuadorian milk chocolate be that bar? This bar is so thin compared to the one that I've just had. Pretty little pattern on the chocolate. I am, as with all my chocolate taste tests, just getting stuck straight into them. I'm not doing the slowly letting it melt in my mouth thing. I've said it before, I'll say it again, it would make this video way too long. This is a nice bar of chocolate, but it's not as nice as Tony's. It's sweeter and it's got a slight aftertaste to it that's a little bit strange. I can't really describe it. Would I get it again? Yes, I would but I don't think it would be my first choice. It's only the second bar in, so there's all to play for still. I'm now gonna go with Green and Black's Organic. That's more like it. I like the chocolate to at least be thick enough that I can feel like I'm sinking my teeth into it, but those baits are tiny. I'm really surprised by this and not in a good way. 
there's no sweetness to it at all. It is creamy, but it doesn't have the depth of flavour that the other two bars had. I probably wouldn't get this one again, especially because it is one of the more expensive bars. So sorry, green and blacks, but you're not for me. Next up, I'm going in for M and S. I don't think so far I've actually had any of these chocolate bars before. And certainly I've never had them one after the other like this to do a, a proper comparison. Oh, well, this one's helpfully already broken into chunks. It's pretty much the same as the Sainsbury's was in terms of look and size. How would I describe this bar? Like an even blander version of the Sainsbury's. No sweetness, no depth of flavour. It's creamy, but it's kind of like a, just a creamy nothing. So no, I would not get this bar from Emma and S again. I'm disappointed because I would expect these chocolate bars to be nicer than they actually are, but then Maybe I just like cheap chocolate. I think the cheaper chocolates in general are sweeter. We'll see how this one measures up. I have had this one before, but I've not had it for a while. I do like lint chocolate, as I'm sure many of you guys do as well. So it is, again, like the Sainsbury's and M&S in size, shape and look. Lint know how to do chocolate. Mm. This bar is absolutely incredible. It's not sweet. It's rich. It's creamy. It's delicious. It tastes exactly the way I would want a higher end chocolate bar to taste. I think this one is knocking Tony's off first place. Let's see how Morrison's get on. This is a darker looking milk chocolate and it's gone for sort of the, it seems to be the bog standard look for this kind of chocolate bar. Much, much more bitter than any of the other bars so far. When I saw the colour of the chocolate bar, I did think that it was going to be, let's compare it to Lynn. I did think it was going to be more bitter. It's not bitter in a dark chocolate kind of way, but it is a much more intense flavour than I like in my milk chocolate. Creamy. The aftertaste is creamy, but the actual chocolate itself just has such a strong taste that you don't get the creaminess while you're actually eating it. I wouldn't get this bar again, but I don't hate it. I haven't disliked any of them, which is quite good, actually, because in my previous basic chocolate tests, there have been bars that have been absolutely horrible, but I've still got three to go. So I'm going in with the Scottish brand Mackies. I think this is available all over the UK and if it isn't, it should be. I've had this bar quite a lot. I do like the design on these. Um, it's spelled Mackies down each side and then you've got the little cow in the middle. So I'm gonna go for the cow. I think it's kind of cute. It's a nice creamy milk chocolate, but the aftertaste that you get is quite sweet. And the texture when you bite into it, it's not as smooth as any of the others have been. However, I do like it. I will be getting it again, but it's not good enough to beat Lint. 
Aldi's Moza Roth milk chocolate. Again, this is one that I've had before, but not that often, so I can't really remember it. But it comes in these handy little bars. This is another one that doesn't have an awful lot of flavour to it. There's a sweetness and a creaminess, but there's just not that intensity of chocolate flavour. I would get it again because it is probably the cheapest bar on the table. I can't remember. And as I say, it's not disgusting, but it just cannot compete with Lint or Tony's. Those two for me at the moment are just outstanding. There's one more bar to go though, and that is Gillian. So much like the Aldi Moser Roth chocolate, it comes in the individually wrapped bars. You only get four in a pack though, Aldi give you five. And unlike Aldi, it is broken up into sections, which are different sizes. Not quite sure why they've done that, but hey ho. So Gillian is Belgian and Lint is Swiss, just in case you didn't know. Both countries very renowned for producing excellent quality chocolate. Out of the two, I do prefer the Lint, but the Gillian is a very, very close second. And I would say out of all the bars that I've tried, these are the best. I don't think any of the supermarket bars even come close to these. So I would say if you're looking for a really decadent chocolate bar, go for one of these brands. They might cost a bit more, but they, they really are worth the money in my opinion. And Tony's is a good one as well. And it's a very ethical chocolate. So if that is something that is important to you, that could be a good bar to go for as well. And it would make a lovely gift. Now, I do have two more bars of chocolate. Lindor and the Aldi version. Now I'm comparing these separately because they are both filled and none of the other bars were. So I didn't think it would be fair to compare them but there's no way I was missing this bar out of the chocolate test. I'm gonna go for Aldi first. So again, it comes individually wrapped. You only get four in this one. And they do look quite cute, like mini bars of chocolate. Little filling. The filling is lovely and smooth. And there's a good texture contrast between that and the hard outer shell. It's creamy and it's not overly sweet. I really like this. Let's compare it to the big guns. I do like Lindor, but I can't eat a lot of it because I do find it makes me feel quite sick quite quickly. And I think that is because it's just so rich. I should probably actually taste it before I start commenting on it. So, comes in squares. I can already smell the very distinctive Lindor scent. So creamy and so smooth. I don't think you're going to be surprised by which one I prefer. It is the Lint Lindor. It's sweeter and richer than the Aldi, but do not get me wrong. This is still a really good bar of chocolate. I think if I were to compare all the bars, this would probably be my favorite. But as I say, it's not one. I, I couldn't eat this full bar of chocolate without feeling sick. I could eat this one and I probably will once I've finished filming the video because it's too good not to. 
That is my roundup on milk chocolate bars. Please do drop me a comment in the box below and let me know if you have a favourite and also if there are any other videos you would like to see from me. I will be doing a final chocolate taste test video and that will be the posh white chocolate and then I'll have done all of them except dark chocolate which is just disgusting so I'm not even going to go there. If you want to see any of the other chocolate videos I've done you'll find them on my channel page in the playlist the chocoholic collection. There's blonde milk and white chocolate in that. For now I am going to go and curl up on the sofa grab my book and get stuck into the rest of that link bar. I do hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and that I'll see you for the next upload. Bye.